everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. I'm Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moments and welcome to Las Vegas weeks. We are here going through everything I purchased while in Las Vegas on vacation. And today is all about beauty and accessories. So excited. There's not a lot in this category, but I'm happy with what I have. Um, let's start here. Last time I was in Las Vegas, there is a brand called Tree Hut. I first saw this on TikTok. And they have all different kinds of body scrubs, face scrubs, face lotions, body butters, shampoos, conditioners, body washes, the whole line. And I was really interested in their face scrub because I have very dry skin and I love a good scrub for my face. Now I know you should use gentle scrubs for your face because it's delicate skin and you don't want to damage it, yada, yada, yada. I've done delicate ones. I don't feel clean from those. I like ones that are a little stronger. So last time I bought from Tree Hut, I found them at Ulta in Las Vegas, which is basically like Sephora, but a little different. Um, and I bought three of them. I have used one and I'm on the second one about halfway through. So I'm like, you know what? I should probably pick up a couple more. So I went to the Ulta and I couldn't find them on the shelf. And I said, hey, do you have the Tree Hut face scrub? She goes, oh no, I think they've discontinued those. Of course they have. Because every time I find a beauty product that I love, that my skin loves, they discontinue it. This has happened more than once to me. So I'm like, darn. But I wanted to check Burlington because Burlington is very similar to Winners or Home Sense here in Canada. And a lot of times they get products from other stores that are, you know, marked down in price. So I'm like, Burlington, I bet they have it. I did not find it. I did not find it until about halfway through our vacation. Burlington had it, you guys. They came through. Now they had a few that I hadn't tried before. So I specifically was looking for this, the Pineapple Papaya AHA. This is a brightening sugar face scrub. This is what they look like. Okay. I believe I paid about $10 American at Ulta. Burlington had it for $4.99. Yes, please. I bought two. Okay. I bought two of the pineapple papaya. I bought two. Then they had some other ones. So I bought a watermelon cactus water, which is supposed to be a hydrating one. I probably should have bought more of that one because my skin's dry, but that's fine. Then I bought a purifying sugar face scrub in blueberry turmeric. And I bought a nourishing face scrub in banana oat. So these smell great. Um, and I mean the price five bucks, I mean, yeah, it's American, but like I said, these will last me a while. So they'll be in, like, I do use them not every day, probably every, like three times a week. I probably use these. So, I mean, this is going to last me a while. So I was very happy to find them though, because my heart dropped when they were like, Oh, discontinued. Of course they are. Another thing I wanted to get was I'm looking for a toner. Again, the toner I have discontinued. Um, I've tried different toners. My skin's very sensitive. So I, f I found this again at Burlington. It is a brightening vitamin C facial toner. What I like about it is the lid. This is one of those where you push down and it comes up onto your like little cotton pad or whatever. I love that. Um, so I actually got two, <laughs> two of the exact same ones. Now, um, this one was $4.99, but this one was on clearance for $3.19. I did buy them in separate Burlington's at separate times. So that's why if you're wondering why one's marked down and one isn't, 
separate times and different Burlington's. Um, so I got those. I did also pick up a larger, like it's probably double the size of this in a cucumber water. Um, I picked up that as well, but I left it at our place in Vegas because I'm like, I'll just leave it here for next time. Um, so that's good. I'm happy I got those. I haven't tried these ones yet, so I'm not sure if my skin's going to like them, but we'll see. Um, don't ask me why uh, I'm the queen of impulse purchases. Did I need more hairbrushes? I don't know. Probably not. I have one. I don't know if I like it anymore. They had these Betsy Johnson. I probably just liked it because of the pink color, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but this is a large oval brush, Betsy Johnson. It says it's good for all hair types. Um, it's just hot pink. Um, this was $3.99, you guys. Okay, $3.99. Um, then they also had it in the paddle brush. So I picked up both paddle brush and oval, um, both the same color, Betsy Johnson. Uh, this one, paddle brush was $4.99, a dollar more, but I picked them up. I don't know. It's just, I'm the queen of impulse. What can I say? I'm honest about it. I'm the queen of impulse. I picked up some more scrunchies while I was down there um, because I do, I've been wearing this scrunchie. Um, I, I won this scrunchie at a Kirby Club event here in Saskatoon at like the Christmas party and because I used hair ties. And then I won the scrunchie and I tried it one day and I'm like, oh my God, I love scrunchies. Why have I stopped using them? So I just picked up these scrunchies. I also have a black one somewhere, um, but I've been wearing those while I was in Vegas, so got those. I picked these up for my daughter. These, again, just little hair ties, and then it has some little heart-shaped um, carabiners on here as well. So I picked those up for her. These were $3.99. I can't remember how much my scrunchies were, but somewhere around there. Oh, and then I also got these little hair clips for my daughter, like just these little tiny little clipper things just for her hair. She wanted them. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, the next few things my husband laughed at, it's fine. I don't know why I brought these home. I should have left these there. We just get toothbrushes when we're down there because it just makes sense. But for whatever reason, I pack these instead of leaving them there. So these are just kids toothbrushes. I don't know. Um, these I brought home though. These I was really happy with. I had bought these two of them individually at the Dollar Tree um, just for my husband and I to use while we were down there. And I really loved mine. He did not, but I loved mine. These are a charcoal, extreme clean, soft, assor sorry, there's a glare, assorted toothbrushes. Okay. There's 10 toothbrushes in here, 10 of them. And they were six bucks for 10. I really liked these. Um, it says there's charcoal infused bristles, ultra soft grip, tongue cleaner. Um, I, I, I don't know, you guys. I really, really like them. My husband did not. But I'm like, that's fine. Like, this will last me forever. I typically change out my toothbrush usually every four to six months. Um, although if I get sick, like with a cold or something, I will change it out once I'm better as well. So, I mean, these will last me a while. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what it is about them. Um, another thing I got down there, which again, seems weird. I know. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to focus more on oral health care, but this is a four pack tongue scrapers. Do you guys have a tongue scraper? I've seen them. I mean, I've never had one before. They had some metal ones, which looks scary to me. So I went with these ones. Um, what I like about it is it also has a case to it, which I thought was kind of nice. Um, so it says just use it daily. These were $3.99. I don't know. I don't know. There's four in here. Comes with a case. I don't know how often you're supposed to change these out. Um, does it say? It doesn't say. But it's supposed to be good for you. I don't know. It shows you how to use it and stuff. So we'll try it and see. Um, did I need to buy these in Las Vegas? Probably not. Could I have gotten them here? Yeah, I could have. But again, 
queen of impulse purchases. Why fight it? Um, here's another thing that I thought I needed. Um, this is a two-pack orthodontic storage case, a lime green and a pink. Um, no, I don't have dentures. However, I do have a um, guard I'm supposed to use at bedtime, uh, which I haven't used in a really long time. And I also have trays for teeth whitening. Um, so I'm like, ooh, maybe I should get some of these. So yeah, it's got it's for mouth guards, metal or clear retainers, and aligners. Um, I, like I said, I have a mouth guard. I'm supposed to sleep with it. I also have for teeth whitening. And then I'm pretty sure eventually my daughter is going to need one because she's probably going to need braces at some point. But it was $3.99 for the two. Um, so that's fine. I also tried to keep everything in the packages to show you guys. It would have fit in my suitcase better out of the package, but I wanted to be able to give you guys prices and stuff. So I picked up two of those. I know, completely random. Then I got some jewelry. Um, I picked up these because, I mean, everyone has these and they're just, they go with anything. So just, you know, your little typical bracelets, the little you know, they're kind of, um, stretchy little bracelets. You can wear them all together. You can wear one, you can wear a few. They're just, you know, silver sparkle. Can't go wrong. Don't remember how much they were, but I want to say like $4.99 maybe. Then I picked up this super cute one. Um, this one is like an, ex like a wraparound. Let me put it on here. So super cute. I actually wore this while we were down there when we went to some concerts and stuff, but like super cute. That's what it looks like on. Absolutely love it. And then another wraparound I got was this pearl one with little diamonds. Um, we're planning on renewing our wedding vows in a couple years. And I'm like, how cute would it be to wear this on the wedding day? There's that one. So super cute. That's what I got for bracelets. And then I picked up this necklace. I thought it was going to be longer, but it's more of a choker style. Um, so it's hearts. And then you can see those two hearts down there. I have rhinestones. Like I said, I thought it'd be longer, but it's more of a choker style. Um, but again, I wore this when we went to a couple concerts. Super cute. Um, just gold with rhinestones. So that's my jewelry. And that's it. You guys, these videos are short. Um, I'm glad I'm splitting them up though, because otherwise, whoo, they'd be long videos. So that is it for the beauty and accessories portion. Um, we will be coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be, let me find out for you. Ooh, fun. Purses, bags, and shoes. That's fun. That one will be a little bit longer because apparently I bought a lot of purses and bags and shoes this trip. So that's fun. Um, yeah, so make sure if you like purses, bags, and shoes, you come back for tomorrow. Um, like I said, the next few weeks, it's all Vegas talk. So that's it for today. Hopefully the next few videos I'll be filming downstairs where the lighting is better because I want you guys really to see these things really clearly. So come back tomorrow. Can't wait to share with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.